What is going on NFL fans? Welcome back to the J All Day Sports Show. In today's episode, we're going to do our first mock draft for fantasy football this year. We're doing a 12-team league, 15-round draft, right? I'm picking number five, so I didn't want to go first and I didn't want to go last. I'm kind of going in the middle-ish at number five, so let's get into it. All right, fantasy football fans, if you take a look at the screen right here, this is the PFF Fantasy Mock Draft Simulator. 12 teams, I'm picking number five, 15 rounds. This is a PPR league. Let's get into it. All right, team one is officially on the clock, guys. We go C.J. McCaffrey, Amon Ross St. Brown, C.D. Lamb, Justin Jefferson. Now I am on the clock, right? Do I go Tyree Kill, Jamar Chase, Puga Nakua? I got to go with the cheetah, right? I'm going with the cheetah. I got my first wide receiver. We have the cheetah in round one, everyone. All right, here is my second round pick. Oh, I wanted Pacheco. Marvin Harrison Jr. is really interesting at this point in the draft. He's going to be probably the number one option aside Trey McBride in that offense. I like A-Chain, but he's going to be kind of split in time there. And then Josh Allen at quarterback. Jalen Hurts. Let's see what other people. Is any quarterbacks picked yet? No quarterbacks yet, just running backs and wide receivers. So I probably want to go running back here, but I don't see a ton of options. James Cook is an interesting option right now. Let's just go and see what the running back situation is looking like. Joe Mixon is also really interesting because he catches a lot of passes coming out of the backfield, right? But he could kind of be in a little bit of a dual situation as well. James Cook is clearly the number one running back left right now. James Conner's really interesting too. If you go at availability, NTN is probably, you know, the best running back on the board right now. So I'm I got to go with Travis Antian Jr. He's going to be the number one back at Jacksonville, right? His ADP is 23, right? And we're picking, you know, way past that right now. So I like this pick, Travis Antian, as my number one running back. All right, everyone. Let's go back to the board. Drake London, H.A. Hurts, Waddle. I do like Jalen Hurts. In this particular situation, because he scores a lot of touchdowns at the goal line, right? So he's going to have a lot of points available. And if you look at his projection points, he's just crushing everyone. Lamar Jackson's really interesting, too. Do I go Lamar Jackson or do I go with Jalen Hurts? I think I'm going to go with Jalen Hurts because I like Kellen Moore bringing that new kind of spread offense. And I just like the receivers with Philadelphia a lot more than I like Lamar Jackson's wide receivers. We're going Jalen Hurts. All right, so we got our wide receiver. We got our running back. We got our quarterback, guys. Woo, baby. All right, should we look at a tight end or should we look at another wide receiver, right? Running back. Aaron Jones is a very interesting pick as well. I do like James Conner. He's kind of being sneaky late in this draft right now. Let's take a look. Jalen Waddle's available. Debo Samuel. I think Malik Neighbors, man. Oh, He's dealing with a little bit of an injury. He rolled his ankle in practice. So I think I'm going to skip that. Do I go Brandon Ayuk or do I go Debo Samuel? I'm going with Debo Samuel. Because I don't know how this Brandon Ayuk situation is going to play out. And I like that they like to hand the ball off to Debo Samuel too. So he can get some rushing yards. He can get some goal line plays. I'm going Debo Samuel right now. Oh, God, Jalen Waddle looks so good too. But I'm going Debo Samuel, guys. Going Debo. All right, man. We're on to round five. Here's my roster so far. I got my quarterback, I got a running back, I got my two wide receivers. I need another running back and a tight end, guys. Another running back and a tight end. And it's cool, they have this little cheat sheet thing and you can kind of see like where everyone's picking, who is like the best value right now. And like who, like for the most part, is getting picked in this rank rankings already. 
All right, guys. Do I go? Oh, Kyle Pitts is a really interesting tight end. Very interesting tight end, guys. Or do I just, like, pick a flex guy right now? Terry McLaurin is a very interesting pick as well. George Pickens, Tank Dell, Zay Flowers. Oh, man, I do like Malik Neighbors, man, because he's going to get a lot of juice. A lot of juice. Let's see what the tight end situation's looking like. Is Trey McBride gone already? Yeah, McBride. Ooh, I'm going Evan Ingram, dude. He had a monster year last year for Jacksonville. He was an absolute stud, man. He was so good last year f for the Jaguars, man. Ooh, Brock Bowers is interesting, too. I'm going Evan Ingram. He might be the focal point of this offense this year. We're going Evan Ingram, guys, for our tight end. Whoo, baby. Do I go flex? Do I do go best player available? The Amari Cooper's probably... Terry, I got it. I'm going Terry McLaurin. He's going to be my flex guy. He's going to be the focal point of that offense, and I expect a lot of deep balls coming from Jaden Daniels. I love Terry McLaurin in this spot. He's my guy. Definitely my guy for sure. I love that pick there, guys. All right, let's see. Maybe we got to go find a defense. Oh, man, James Conner just got picked. All right, I'm not really worried about the kicker situation right now. Defense seems pretty interesting to me. Oh, I like Lad McConkey too. Let's check out these defenses right now. I do like the Cowboys defense. The Jets defense is still available. I'm, I'm going Jets defense all day. All day, give me that Jets defense. The number one defense in the NFL. We just locked it down, guys. Absolutely crushing it. Now we got to go to our bench. I'm going to take a quarterback. Then another running back. I gotta go. I gotta grab another running back right now, for sure. I'm going. I gotta. I gotta grab a running back. Devin Singletary. He's gonna be the number one back for the Giants. Austin Eckler is a very interesting pick too. Most art. Yeah, I gotta go. Devin Singletary. He's gonna be the number one guy with the New York Giants. He's gonna catch a lot of passes out of the backfield for sure. I'm going Devin Singletary, guys. I like that pick. Like that pick, everybody. All right, now I can start building out this roster a little bit with guys that I think potentially could develop into good players and guys that have, you know, the next man up mentality, right? Who's going to be a guy getting a lot of carries potentially if the guy in front of them gets hurt? I want to pick a backup quarterback, man. I think that's the way I should go right now. I'm, I'm taking Jaden Daniels. I think he's going to be really... What, there's Tua, too. Mm. Tua, I'm going Tua. Tua's going to be my backup quarterback. Golf is there, too, man. Tua or golf. Tua or golf. I'm going Tua, man. They're going to be spreading that offensive lot. I think they're going to be in a lot of close games, too. A lot of games where they're going to have to pass. Maybe they're behind a little bit. I like Tua as my backup quarterback to Jalen Hurts. All right, well, now we got a, I got my three wide receivers. Probably should pick another running back here. Let's see what the running back situation is looking like right now. Trey Benson for Arizona is interesting. If a guy like James Conner gets hurt, you know. Brown, Chase Brown is really interesting. He's going to take over that role for Joe Mixon. So he's probably going to be a focal point of that offense. So I'm going to go with Chase Brown. I think he's going to be the number one guy for Cincinnati now that Joe Mixon is gone. We are in round 11, guys. Oh, Brian Thomas Jr., that would have been a steal. All right. I want to go wide receiver here. Let's check out this wide receiver situation. Trevor Lawrence, Jacoby Meyer, Brandon Cooks. Yo, he's going to be a really interesting play, too, because... What's going on with the CeeDee Lamb situation? Curtis Samuel, I think he's going to get a lot of opportunity this year as well. I like Shakir, too. He's probably going to catch a lot of balls right now for the Buffalo Bills, right? Ooh, where do I go? All right, let's see what the highest projected is. Bunch of quarterbacks, right? I don't want to go quarterback, so let's see what the running back situation is projected. 
Dobbins. And okay, the Chargers really like to run the ball a lot. So that's a very interesting play there. So I'm going to go Dobbins, get another running back on our roster, guys. As we move on past round 11, we're going to be heading into round 12. Chase Brown, Terry McLaurin. So we have we have three running backs on our roster right now. I probably want to grab another wide receiver, maybe like a younger wide receiver that has the potential to like develop into a, a big role. Raheem Shahid. Ooh, Jalen Polk. Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna take a flyer on a rookie. He looked really good in that first game, getting great separation, guys. I'm going Jalen Polk, man, the rookie from Washington. Love that pick there. All right, now I gotta grab a backup defense, grab a kicker. All right, let's check out this kicker situation. There's still plenty of really good kickers on there. I'm not gonna waste a pick on a kicker right now. Let's see if we could get another solid defense. Bengals, Birds, Bears, Bills, Falcons, Packers, Seahawks, Giants. I do think the Colts defense is going to be really good. Really, really good. Mm, I'm not, I don't know if I need to pick one of these yet. I want to fill up another bench role. I need to get a backup tight end because I don't have another tight end on my roster. Hunter Henry could be a really interesting pick. Zach Ertz, he's probably going to get a lot of playing time early. Hmm. And then the, the Bills are going to run a lot of 12 personnel this year. I like Knox. Yeah, he's pretty good, man. But they're going to split time, so. Hunter Henry seems like the clear way to go right now. I think he's going to be the focal point from the tight end position for the New England Patriots. And I think that like with young quarterbacks, there might be a lot of check downs, a lot of shorter routes. Hunter Henry could be potentially a steal here this late in the draft, guys. So my last pick, I got to go best player available. Who is the best player on the board right now? I got my two quarterbacks. I got two and Hurts. I'm not super stoked about my running back situation. My wide receivers are stacked, though. We got Hill, Debo. Oh, my gosh. Terry McLaurin. I love my, I love my wide receivers. <sighs> the running back situation. I don't love any of these running backs. Not a big fan of any of these running backs. Let's see what the wide receivers. Brandon Cooks like seems like a steal here. Gabe Davis too. Do I do Cooks or Gabe Davis? Cooks. Cooks or Cooks or I'm going Cooks, man. He's a number number two wide receiver there. If anything happens to C.D. Lamb, he's going to be a major factor in that offense for the Dallas Cowboys. Everybody. All right, I'm liking this roster, guys. We got. Hertz, NTN, Singletary, Hill, Samuel, Evan Ingram, Chase Brown, Flex. But we're probably going to flex more with, like, Terry McLaurin, in my opinion. He's going to get most of those picks, right? All right. We are up, guys. Round 15. I got to get another. I got actually need, I need a kicker because I don't have a kicker right now. I could always pick up another defense on the waiver wire. So let's go kicker. Who's going to be a kicker? I like a kicker that's going to, in an offense that's going to score a lot of points. The Rams are going to score a lot of points, guys. Taking the Rams kicker, Cardi. All done. That's a wrap, everybody. Here it is, everyone. My first fantasy mock draft for the 2024-2025 NFL season. We got an overall grade A-. minus. I think we crushed it, dude. We got Hurts, NTN, Singletary, Tyreek Hill, Debo Samuel. I mean... That's a great wide receiver duo, in my opinion. Chase Brown's not going to be my flex, I don't think. I'm going to probably use Terry McLaurin more because, dude, I'm telling you, Jaden Daniels and McLaurin are going to light it up. And Evan Ingram had an amazing year last year for the Jaguars. That was a steal pick. We got Cardi, the kicker from the Rams. We got the Jets defense, a B grade. That's trash. Yo. This Jets defense is going to destroy the NFL this year, guys. I'm super happy. Very solid bench, guys. I'm excited. 
I'm excited. Let me know in the comments below if you like these kind of fantasy mock drafts. I'll do more of them as we get closer and closer to kickoff and some of these injuries kind of play out. Sad injury today. J.J. McCarthy has a tear in his meniscus, excuse me, in his right knee. Super sad. All right, don't forget to like and subscribe. Peace.